welcome back to our channel. Today we have some delicious Indian food. Um, today we have quite a bit of dishes. We have the devil's drumstick. Really good, I had this before. And we have some fish. This is tandoori fish. fish. Yep. This one right here. And we got some chicken, a samosa, some butter chicken. chicken yep. This is my favorite. We got two type of naans. We have the garlic butter naan and then the original naan, right? Yep. Awesome. Okay, these are the sauces that came with the samosa and the tandoori fish. Yeah, do you like Indian food? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> I think he likes it more than I do. Like, I like Indian food, but I don't have it as often. And I know you guys, like, request that quite a bit. So, here's some lime. I'm going to pour this on the fish. Right, here. right. Came with the fish, so. <laughs> There's no juice in this lime. <laughs> Barely any. There we go. There we go. Did I get you a new eye? This is the best. Oh, that's okay. the best? What's that? Like, rice crackers? Yeah. Yes, okay. This is one of my favorite. <clears throat> I'm gonna start with the drumstick here. Because here we can have it, because it's pretty big. You take that, try it. I'll take this drumstick. Why? You, you get the prime cut. <laughs> you don't no, matter. I like this. I like my I little, little handle. Look at this. Mm, carrots. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> okay. I thought it was deep it's fried, carrots. but I guess not. <laughs> I'm gonna dip with the, the sauce here, this sweet Thai chili sauce. Mm -hmm. Cheers, you guys. So mm. Try this. Garlic. I like to split my naan, but I guess not. You can split it. Mmm, that's good. Mm. There's a lot of different spices in here. The butter chicken is awesome. I know, it's my favorite. Mm -hmm. I always go for butter chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. And then it's barbecued. Yeah, see that? Right here. I like this. It's not that crazy. Spice? Mm hmm. Really? Because my East Indian friends, theirs is just crazy spice. But it's not hot. Mm -hmm. Spicy, but it's just like with so many different flavors and spices in here. After a while, I can tolerate the spice. It it gets to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ask you a few questions, like always. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Let me try this butter chicken first. Right. I'm here. starving too. You're starving. Mm -hmm. Ah. <clears throat> Skip lunch, didn't ya? He likes to skip lunch for some reason. You did. <laughs> and Chipotle today. As always, Chipotle. Not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like Chipotle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, it's so creamy. So good. I can just eat this mm -hmm. with the sauce. I remember when we're still going out. Without the chicken? Mm-hmm. Mm. And my East Indian best friend. Yeah. Every after work, we always go to this Indian food. To like a restaurant? It's not even a restaurant. They're like the caterers for the airlines. Mm-hmm. And it's really nice. It's really good. Like, he made himself? Mm-hmm. Mm. And he sells them exclusively to my buddy because he's known, they've known him. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mm. know that. Yeah. And then my East Indian friend, who's like old, older than me. Yeah. We call him Baiji. Mm-hmm. He used to bring homemade Indian food and they have a restaurant in India. And oh my goodness. Every day. I know. He has a lot of um <clears throat> Look at these guys. Indian friends. Oh you can see. You can see. Ooh, ooh, you can see. 
He's a That's good a fish. fish. What kind of fish is this? I don't know. Mmm. It's really good. Cod. Is it cod? Can you tell the difference between the fishes? No, they're all the same to me. I don't know, mate. You're all plenty. Try it with the um the green sauce here. It's a little minty. It's actually really good. Oh yeah, good. I remember. Your sister ordered this um chicken wings mm -hmm. from this Vietnamese restaurant. And there's like this powdered spice. Yeah, the the fried chicken was plain. Yeah, it's plain. Just deep fried. I was eating it like three pieces, and I'm like, yeah, it's so plain. <laughs> yeah, look at the powdered spice. I'm like, ah, I don't trust those. He forgot to put the actual chili that came with it on the chicken wings. I didn't forget. I just didn't want to try it because oh. your sister and your cousins are so insane with chili. Yeah, I just crazy. didn't want to lose my appetite. I'm like a wimp compared to their like. Level of spice. Spice level, yeah, totally. And so I was eating it third time, and I said, "Yeah, let me try this." I dip a little bit, and I'm like, "It's night and day." <laughs> and I was telling your sister, I was like, "Holy better. cow, yeah, absolutely." Mm -hmm. It's like night and day difference. The fish is really good. I'm gonna try it. I had a little tiny, like, little taste, and I thought it was quite oh. spicy, like oh. potent spicy. So the fish oh my goodness. is just, and then you can have it with the sauce here that came with it. Tandoori fish is so good. Mm. And look at mm. this mini samosa. It's actually a cocktail version. Let me taste it. Back in my day, a samosa twice as big as oh, this. Oh, it's so big. This is tiny compared to the usual size. If you if you know Vancouver, mm, it's actually the, really good. This Indian neighborhood is always on Fraser and Main. <laughs> yeah. And they always buy samosa because it's the cheapest meal. In high school. I guess so. When I was working, <coughs> mm -hmm. and still working. Yeah. We used to live in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. That was like what, twenty years ago. More than that. <clears throat> when I used to live in the downtown Vancouver core. Mm -hmm. So anyways, when we keep buying samosa, first store you go in is three for a dollar. You go down, farther you go down, the more pieces you get for a dollar. Really? So at the end of the, um, the really end of the, um, the strip. Yeah. Of Indian restaurant, mm -hmm. you'll get five for a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta start from the very bottom. Not really. You just skip the very start and you go <laughs> end up at the end. Mm. And the very end store. How's the quality though? Because <laughs> it's actually not bad. Three for a dollar versus five for a dollar. Obviously, you get less for what you pay for. Well, this woman, her samosa was really good. Yeah. Like three for a dollar. But then again, that time, the taste wasn't really matter because. I was just a kid and I just want to eat. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. six for a dollar with mediocre taste over mm -hmm. three for a dollar. Like, ah, I'll go for six. You know me. <laughs> I'll go for six. I know. That's your habit. Like, I always say, you get what you pay for. Mm -hmm. So, if you cheap out, you get the cheaper version. And I always tell Ed that you should always go for, you know, not like so expensive, but like the medium range because then mm -hmm. you, you, you'll you be happy with what you'll get. Mm -hmm. If you're too cheap, you're not going to get what you want. Mm -hmm. So, I always believe that. Oh man. I was about to say. No, I like it. <laughs> I want to see you do fire noodle. No. Yeah. Because that's a different level of spice. This is the garlic. Oh, what is this? Mint? Yeah, it's minty. It's really good. Have you ever had Dine and Dash when you were younger? No. Never? Oh, this is really good. Yeah, it's really good. It's actually for the salad, which I didn't put on here because it doesn't have oh, enough room. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. It's like spicy. It's kind of like Nando sauce. Mm. Mm. Kind of. Pear pear. Oh, mm. man. Mm -hmm. You go like this. With this. Really good. Okay, back to your question. Dine and Dash. Never. 
And I would never. Yeah. Because um, <laughs> it's mean. Not, you know what? To be honest, I've always I've thought about it a few times because the service was like horrible. Mm -hmm. But I would never do it because no, obviously never. it's wrong. And you know, you always think in the back of your head and be like, "What if we just leave?" Right? Because it's so horrible and so bad. But because I know what it's what it's like. Oh, for sure. I always look at the bright side and say, maybe she's just having a bad day, or he. I'll just move on. But it's funny because, uh, you know, it's always in the back of your head. Because <laughs> when I was a teenager, one of my jobs... Was a server? Nope. I was a dishwasher. Dishwasher? <laughs> and I work at, um... I work as a cook. Mm -hmm. And back in my day, the server never... Never shared a tip. Oh, mm, really? Yeah, they never. No. Oh. So, us bad kitchen, kitchen people like work yeah. really, really hard. They should be, uh, you know, able to get some chairs. One time, one of the server gave me mm. part of her big tip, mm -hmm. and I was so happy. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, because that never happened. It's not like I need it, but I'm saying. Is that thought that counts? Yeah. Mm -hmm. She gave me five dollars at that time. It was like, "Bay," you know. I'm like, "Oh, it's like a coffee back then." Mm -hmm. Not coffee. Coffee back then was like twenty five cents. Mm -hmm. Gas or back a meal. Then. I yeah. remember gas being when I didn't even like have my license yet, or even have a car. It was like twenty five cents. Mm -hmm. I was like, "Wow, twenty five cents," and it kept going up to like. 50 cents, 75 cents. I was like, what? That's so much. <clears throat> and now you look at the pump, it's like crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is really good. I really like it with the sauce. Ooh. There's another question right there. Hmm. Would you rather have endless money or endless love? Love. Because I love the endless love song. <laughs> so corny. <laughs> My endless love. Super corny. Endless love. I would pick no, endless love. Love. And you know that. Of course. I know that too. Try this? Mm. Something hit me with a spice here. I don't know. A bit of chili? Mm hmm. You're not eating this? I'm, I'm oh. saving it. That's like my this favorite. One right this, here. this is my favorite part, guys. He always guys. says that every time we're at a restaurant. It's my habit of leaving like oh, yeah. little bits and stuff on the side, so I can come back for it. But then he was like, he would grab and just eat. I'm like, I was going to eat that. The majority of the time, you guys just leave it there. Mm. Yes, but this is my I favorite. Like the crunchy part. This is my favorite right here. The crunchy part. Mm -hmm. oh. It's good. Just eat it. It's so tiny. No, I want to try this. Mm -hmm. That's good. You're like that. Mm. Okay, keep question. Have you ever been in a car accident? And what was oh, it? Oh, yeah. Was it your fault? No. My first ever car accident, I was T-boned. Some guy ran a red light. No, stop sign. Yeah, red light, stop sign. And T-boned the car. Total the car. Mmm. Pretty much it, and then how many times? Oh, I spun like three. Six. No, like how many times have you been in a car accident? Oh, I get T-bone again with my buddies, mm -hmm. and then the, the the latest one was with you, with that drunk guy. Mm -hmm. I was driving your Acura. Yeah. Mm. He was like so the drunk guy. We ended us right. Mm -hmm. He ran a stop sign. And um, and yeah, he wouldn't stop. He just and keep then, on going. Yeah, he like went after him. And I like, just chased went him down. Yeah, and we're going around circles. Well, I was on the phone with the police, giving them like you know his license plate and all that stuff. This was like ten years ago, before no, the kids and everything before, else. Before the kids, like, yeah, yeah, ten years. Ten, ago. Not ten years ago. Oh no, Nicholas, no, Nicholas is like is 12. twelve. <laughs> like fifteen years ago. No. <laughs> More like 16, 17 years oh, ago yeah. because we've been together since, yeah, more like 16, 17 years ago. Mm -hmm. and but I've been on a car accident 
three times. Yeah, I'm, I'm same thing. One with the rear end, and one time I rear ended somebody on the highway because I wasn't paying attention. This was like when I was like 20, 20 years old. Yeah, I reared in with some, reared ended someone in the highway, and then we were like stalling the traffic, and the like the car that drove by got mad at us. He was like, "Pull over!" <laughs> that was embarrassing. Um, but yeah, and the oh. other time was when I was in Thailand. My dad was, <clears throat> I guess he was like driving the motorcycle, and he like reared off, like he went off to the to the road, and like we landed into a ditch. That was scary. I get into an accident. Mostly not my fault. Mm. Well, all of them not Run my fault. One time was my fault. One, the one thing about me is that I'm really... You're careful. You're yeah. really like... Defensive you're, he's driving. very alert. Okay, I'm gonna have this done. Remember that time we went to Thailand? There's one thing that you hate about me. Oh, you're so like aggressive when you're driving. No, it's not that. Kind of... Oh yeah, I have to. Yeah, you have to. Like you gotta squeeze because... yourself into like... Ima... The, the traffic in Thailand is like... A free for all. Free yeah, for all. it is free for all. And it's like, you know, the, ro the roads are... They don't pay attention to the rules. So they just drive wherever, mm. which side. Especially the motorcycle guys. Yes. Oh, I hate those. Exactly. So when I was in Thailand, mm. we were on this small island, in this island called, um, in Phuket. Mm -hmm. Your mom has to tell me, your slow mom, down. slow down. Because she was scared. Because <laughs> I was really being aggressive because if you're not being aggressive, they're not going to give you way. Yeah, they're not going to give you way. And then our rental car was, oh man, remember that time where our rental car couldn't go up the hill? <laughs> Yeah. We're so worried. Mm-hmm. But I said, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna it make was it. literally like we went up this like hill and was the car was like shaking, it was like <laughs> it was... And it And then was... we finally made it and then on the other side of the hill was going downhill and I was like so scared that the brakes wasn't gonna work. Yeah. The thing um it's so funny because when I was driving in Thailand I get honked at all the time because of being so aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> but here, I am. I just want because one of my pet peeves is inconsiderate drivers. Or they bad don't driving. give you away. No, because I just I just you? don't do things that people don't. Want, I don't want people to do to me. Like I don't tailgate because I don't want to get tailgate. Mm. Yeah. No. Have a bite? No, thanks. Ooh, there's a spike in there. So go ahead. <laughs> okay. If you could star in a movie, what movie would it be? Oh. Um. Ooh. I would be like a Disney princess. Oh. Oh, no, I know. Because I like movies that are... Politics related, mm -hmm. army related. So, I love House of Cards. Mm -hmm. I was just gonna say House of Cards, but who would you play? You would play that oh, that guy. What's his name? Frank. <clears throat> yeah, Frank. Isn't he like the president? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, see, I don't even watch that show, and I know. <laughs> and um, oh, and the one where. That I'm obsessed with your sister and Aaron is Ozark. Ozark. Who would you play? I don't want to play any any of those. I don't like those characters. <laughs> I like characters that are. Oh, Godfather! I love that movie. Yeah. Believe it or not, I've never seen it. You never. Oh, remember that time when we went to um. We we're in New York. We keep going to Forrest Gump. Uh, Bubba Gump. Yeah. And I, I have to explain to you guys. <laughs> what it was, because I've never seen Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Maybe I've seen parts of it, but I've never actually watched like the entire movie. 
So when and he's been trying to get me to watch it, but I'm like, mm, no, I don't think I'll be movie. into it, you know? And I remember... I like fantasy movies and like magical and mysterious. I hate movies. He doesn't like that. So we never, we what? hardly watch movies together. together. So we would only watch like, you know, movies that are like the kids would want to watch together in a the theater. But in terms of watching a movie together, like late night, mm -hmm. he would be on his own computer and I would be on my own computer. Totally different. Even music. Mm hmm. My music is different than yours. No. I like my music like jazz and then, yeah. you know. I like jazz. Nah. <laughs> On XM Radio, I always listen to watercolors. And sometimes. But yeah. you like listen to like really loud like hip hop Oh, what's another too. music that sometimes you're like, can you switch that? <gasps> Especially when we're going to the beach. Like Hawaiian music? That's because you overplay it. <laughs> yeah, because I love it. Yeah, but I also like it. Okay, last question. What is your most frequent used emojis? To be honest, I don't use <laughs> emojis. Use emojis. I hate emojis. <laughs> like sometimes when people send me an emoji, it's like, like a what's smiley, this supposed to be? <laughs> like a smiley face emoji. <laughs> there was one time that um, my buddy, I, they got me using an emoji, so I had this middle finger emoji. <laughs> so I was texting someone, work related. And um, my my thumb for some reason went to the emoji column. Yeah. And it went to the middle finger. <laughs> so you sent it back. And I was gonna press send on my right thumb, and I'm like, oh no! It's, oh yeah, yeah! Instead of this. <laughs> <laughs> you just a middle finger. Yeah, be, and then zoom in. Said, oh no! It's a middle <laughs> finger. It's not the thumbs up. Funny. No, but I, I hate, I don't <clears throat> like emojis. You don't like emojis. I love emojis. Like, I could, like, write a whole, like, sentence with emojis if I could. If I knew how to, like, you know how we have those sentences? Like, you, like... Autocorrect? No, you figure out what, like, the emojis. Oh, yeah. yeah. But here's the thing. I find emo I don't... I find using emojis so inappropriate when you're texting someone. No way. That's no. Like, well, for for it makes it makes the text more fun, and you can kind of have that like, oh, like, like when you say LOL with like a laughing. Oh, she's actually. Like, no, it makes it makes it more, especially when you're pissed off at someone, and you send a sad face or an angry face emoji. Yeah, they would know. The would, other person would know. It would like, take, oh, it would take the real feeling about it. It would it'd be more subtle compared to like, the true feeling of like, hey. I am mad at you. Yeah. Those words could be it defined like differently. Yeah. Yeah, lightened. Yeah. Totally. You're going to have this last fish? No. <laughs> I'm, I'm full. I'm seriously I'm full. So full. I'm, I'm the, the spice will like, get you, man. My favorite was the curry. Um, Let me finish the nun. Mm -hmm. And then keep asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, if you had to be trapped on a desert island with one friend, who would it be? Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I, hope, a, I was like, I hope but, he thinks I'm a friend because <laughs> you're sleeping on the couch. <laughs> no, but a friend though. A friend. Or a person. Well, it says a friend, but I mean, you can choose anyone. Like, I could be a friend, obviously. Yeah, because... You can be my friend, I'll take you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you uh, would choose... You would take me with you? Yeah. <laughs> and I would do all the work, as always. <laughs> of course, I would be just lying on the... the wow. It does an island. The island. <laughs> this desert. Mm -hmm. I hope there's Netflix or movies so you can watch movies while <laughs> Okay. If you can only email or text people for the rest of your life, which one would you choose? Email or text? Oh, text. I think email is just too long. Yeah. And it's hard to decipher. See, text, it goes to... Here um, we go. <laughs> like what? 12 numbers? 13 numbers? Texting? Yeah, the, oh, the, the person, you're, te yeah, oh, yeah, the person yeah. you're texting is yeah. between like 12 to whatever numbers. Mm -hmm. the phone number, As opposed yeah. to email, they could be like blah, 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 mm -hmm. underscore, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. Plus, you gotta like wait for a while yeah. for the emails to come through. At 
whatever, <laughs> Hotmail, Yahoo, <laughs> you wouldn't even know. Mm, I'm finally my last bite. But I wasn't gonna eat, but you kind of have to talk and eat at the same time. But you, but text is really easy. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Last one. Would you prefer to work overnight shift or work alone for eternity? Oh. Overnight shift. Overnight shift. That's I easy. don't want to work alone for eternity. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something funny. No, no. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> because I'm the type of person that always like having people around. Mm. <clears throat> Would you rather have a Beyonce song or a Rihanna song stuck in your head all day? Oh, Beyonce. Beyonce. Queen. Bee. I've seen I've seen Rihanna concert. Mm -hmm. Twice, right? Yeah, when I took you, no. First no, when one. she twice because she opened for Bruno Eyes when she first started but i didn't go it was your <laughs> you sister okay. but i saw I, her i got you guys a ticket <laughs> as a surprise yeah. <laughs> that's true but the first rihanna concert where you and i went mm -hmm. went there and then all of a sudden we're like at the floor seats we're at the aisle and couldn't see anything yeah because, because was everyone was like, standing up everyone was standing and all of a sudden up. rihanna just walked right beside us like oh because <laughs> i saw the spotlight yeah and i'm like oh there she is and then we went to... And we've seen Beyonce once. We went to Beyonce. Once. And they were like, hey, let's sit, sit on the section 100 right by the bleachers. Yeah. But it was, was sold out. Seat. So we went to... I was next so to, mad that concert. Yeah, you picked that seat. I did not pick that seat. <laughs> we, I told you to pick the uh, the other one so we could have a good yeah. vantage point, yeah. like a good view. But then it was like, <laughs> we were on the and there side, was no screen at no the screen. side. Normally, the screen a concert wasn't working, so you couldn't really like. It was a black screen, and she would be in like the side, and then we would be right here. So we were like watching a black screen. <laughs> but then you can still see her like yeah, up close. But it was like blurry. We went, yeah. <laughs> I asked, but I enjoyed it. Like yeah, even I, though you couldn't really see her, you can still feel the vibe and the music. Aaron and I enjoyed it. <laughs> We're just going like this. <laughs> That's funny. I, I seriously, but the best concert was Beyonce. Bruno Mars. For you? And, and Beyonce. I, I guess because you enjoy the songs, yeah. but the Beyonce just entire oh, yeah. performance. She, she killed oh, it. Man. She rocked it. She I wouldn't. That's why she's Queen B. Yeah. That's why you watch Beyonce concert. <laughs> you, you would never regret it. Okay, guys, we're going to end this video here. Food is done. I'm full. He's full. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!